Fran Wernight is out <laughs> on another adventure, clearly enjoying nature on this Friday. <laughs> I have made an amazing discovery, Michelle, on a Friday here in Mississauga. I guarantee you it'll put a smile on your face and our viewers. You ready to see this? Let me show you what one million stems of sunshine look like here. Uh, this is one view, but let me expand the view. Uh, let's flip it over to our mass cam. Check this out. Is this not spectacular? My goodness, beautiful sight, sunflowers uh, in all their glory. And this is a, a joint partnership. It really wasn't my discovery. Uh, this was actually uh, planted uh, earlier in the season, uh, late spring, early summer. So the developers of Lakeview Village, that's a Dixie and Lakeshore. It's a huge master community. They have partnered up with the uh, Toronto Region of Conservation, uh, Region of Peel, as well as the Credit Valley Conservation Authority to help nurture the Jim Tovey Conservation Area. Uh, so right now they have 71 acres and five different areas 25 pounds of seeds per acre so they estimate about a million sunflowers right now in full bloom just amazing stuff you'll have an opportunity to actually come down this weekend and take some pictures i'll give you the exact uh, details where you can park and all that sort of thing coming up but just spectacular just to see all this beautiful bright yellow and you know in some cultures sunflowers uh they have a strong representation of happiness optimism longevity and you can certainly see why let's take a look at our current temperatures you know the sun they're sunflowers big correlation we'll talk more about that in just a moment sunflowers thrive through a process called heliotropism so that's a scientific term where when a plant tends to lean toward the sun so young sunflower plants will actually track the sunshine moving east to west and at the end of the day uh, they will realign themselves to the east waiting for the sunrise the next morning and the process of movement is because really uneven growth during that tracking getting the energy from the sun so you know it gets elongated on one side and then at night it tries to catch up but it's only for young sunflowers generally speaking mature flowers will settle eastward and that is clearly evident here and it's with good reason you see, when the sun hits the flower, it heats it up, and that attracts more pollinators, like bees. Bees love the protein-rich nectar inside these sunflowers. We're going to tell you the exact location and have your full forecast here in Mississauga as we celebrate a sunflower celebration on CTV News at noon. But that wouldn't be such a bad thing where uh, Anwar is this afternoon in Mississauga. By the way, where are you? <laughs> Well, this is 800 Hydro Road, uh, Michelle. So Dixie and Lakeshore, we are just west of Dixie. And you'll see the road that says uh, Hydro Road. Drive down. There's a specific parking lot there where people can park and you can take photos, selfies, and, and walk through some of the sunflowers. And ultimately, this is part of a master plan, as I mentioned off the top. It'll, it'll take about 10 years for this community to be uh, fully completed. But this will be a part of also a conservation area, 64 acres of it. Um, uh, and this is, you know, a part of that. The sunflowers, you know, yes, they're pretty to look at, and yes, they're great for pollinators, but they're also amazing filters of the earth. And I don't know if a lot of people realize that. Uh, they will actually decontaminate the soil. They will uh, take up arsenic and lead as well as uranium. In fact, uh, you know, in Japan, in the Fukushima area, when they had that disaster, they are planting hundreds of thousands of sunflowers, a natural process to decontaminate the soil. Let's uh, walk through here, and I'll show you again when we get up close. Uh, when you talk about the heads of the flowers, there's upwards of 2,000 flowers in one of these heads, or seeds, I should say. And you can see how beautiful it is. And they're all reacting to the daylight. But Michelle mentioned about some rain. Uh, they don't have hoses out here. That's a lot to uh, water. So they were relying on Mother Nature. And it looks like we will get some rain showers. So let's get you caught up. We'll start off by letting you know that the weather's guide to undiscovered <laughs> treasures in our midst. And more. Yeah. I'm suddenly in the mood for some sunflower seeds. Of course you are. Oh, boy, yes. Uh, you know, a uh, little bit of olive oil and some sea salt. Boy, you got it. It is amazing what grows from a single seed. To, to think there are 70 different species of sunflowers, Michelle. And the world's tallest, 30 feet, over 9 meters. A gentleman in Germany, expert sunflower grower. And, you know, these, of course, not only uh, for, for pollination in terms of beads and, and insects, other insects, but the seeds for birds. I mean, this is like a buffet for birds. Let's take a look at your uh, cottage cast across the region. There is a chance of some showers, uh, and we will see uh, some cooler air riding in. We're into the upper teens uh, by Sunday. Very quickly, your seven-day forecast. We will see uh, some showers for the drive home, and then maybe tomorrow some isolated showers. 
showers, but sunshine Sunday and Monday, and then more showers Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures close to season. 800 Hydro Road. If you want to come, it officially opens to the public tomorrow. You can come with your uh, smartphones, take lots of pictures, and love nature. Have yourself a great weekend, Michelle. See ya.